everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be um, kind of a quicker tutorial, more about complexion, because it is going to be a first impression slash review slash demo of the brand new ColourPop no filter foundation and of course the concealer but you know i have used the concealer before i'm not sure that it's new formulations or anything i'm pretty sure it's the same just different you know official titling now but i am super excited because i've heard a lot of hype about these foundations and the um shade range as i'm sure most of you guys know if you follow makeup and you're consistently checking you know all the top gurus that this has a wonderful shade range um i've heard mixed reviews personally about it i really love the concealer so i never really had an issue with the concealer i know some people weren't a huge fan of it some people absolutely love it um compared to my makeup revolution concealer I do like the Makeup Revolution, maybe just a tad more, but I'm perfectly fine with going back into ColourPop today just to give it a whirl and see how it goes. So I wanna try the foundation, try the concealer, set it like I normally would, put my bronzer and different things that I normally would, and then just give it a wear test and see how it is. So right now it is 11 a.m. and I'm gonna kind of check in with you guys as we go about the day, but um, I'm really excited. So let's get into it. I wanna prime my skin first. So today I'm gonna use the Smooth and Pore Covering No Pore Blum Touch and Soul Primer. I really, really love this. Um, what I like, about this particular primer is that it's pore correcting and minimizing, but it's not your typical pore primer. When I use pore primers such as Skin to Die For, one of my favorites, or um, Benefits Pore Professional, um, what I find with them is they have this similar kind of like matte, almost moussey texture to them. Um, with Touch and Soles, it's extremely light in liquidy but it kind of melts into the skin and it reminds me a lot of like a water cream and almost like a much more affordable version of the hourglass veil primer but not as how do i put it not as like airy and silicone -y. like i feel like this actually does penetrate more it doesn't just sit on top of the skin surface I always do this before I start my makeup, just so I'm not a hot mess once it comes time to do lips. Okay, so with the foundation, I picked up two colors because I really, it's so hard to shop with ColourPop because I haven't seen these in store yet. And I'm a big fan of being able to work with products, try them on, especially feel them, touch them. But this was strictly an online purchase. So I bought light 45 and medium 100 because normally I'm more in the kind of fair to light range. But with, um, with the sun, you guys know, it's just inevitable you're gonna get some color. So I picked up two. Now here's what I'm noticing first thing off the bat. I don't know if you're supposed to open it this way or obviously the opposite way, but looking at it this way, you would think with the color being on top, you'd open it this way, but when you do that, the bottle's upside down. So I don't really get that. But anyway, this is the medium 100. And I love the bottle. I think it's really adorable. And you guys know I like a good glass bottle. And I also love a good pump. So that is really awesome. This looks a bit warm and yellow beast. And the light one looks a little bit more neutral. Um, what I'm not liking though is I got this. And look, it's, it's kind of hard to see. But there's some kind of spillage and leakage here. And the caps on tight so I don't know why there's color on the bottle but maybe the packaging could be better I mean it came in an envelope so I was a little disappointed about that because I would think with glass foundations especially that they would be sent in a box um, but it was like a padded envelope but we'll say so 
yeah, it is um, net weight 0.85 fluid ounces. So let's compare. It's not quite a full ounce like a drugstore foundation would be, or even a higher end foundation, which is generally a little bit more. Even Power Play is 1.18, so it's less than that. But the price point is like super unbeatable. So let's get into it. I'm gonna try mixing the two because this is gonna be definitely way too light and this can be too dark. So hopefully the mixture of both will work for me. And I also picked up a light 10 concealer. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. Okay, this is super duper light. Um, but it has a yellow base. So I'm hoping that and the mixture, because I actually wear Fair Neutral, but Fair Neutral has a much more pinky undertone. This is the light one that I picked up and it definitely has more yellow, but it's super light. So I'm hoping that'll be enough that we can blend it in, make it work. Um, but they were sold out of quite a few. And that's another thing. They, um, it takes a while to restock with them. And I guess because they're just starting out with it, it makes sense, but it is a pain in the butt when you wanna get your color. Um, so yeah, I like this, but there is a little separation with this concealer considering it just arrived and it doesn't even look like the bottle is full. And there's also, um, color and product on this as well so I don't get it and there's I don't have any concealer or foundation on my hands so I really don't know what that's about um yeah that's that's awkward okay it's very liquidy when it comes out guys so I'm gonna work with an it cosmetics buffing brush today this is the heavenly Lux, and see how that moves the product around the face and this is super duper peachy golden yellow and this one's much lighter so let's see how the two mix together I like the color we'll see hopefully it won't be too dark for me it's super liquidy it feels a lot like when you get um, Urban Decay Naked Skin how it's like super duper liquidy so that is different for me Whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow. You do not need a lot of this foundation. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be like caked right now because I kind of did like two pumps of each. But yeah, I probably could have gotten away with one pump, if not like a half a pump of each. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like a mask right now. Wow. Well, for something that liquidy, you wouldn't expect this kind of like masking coverage. But, um, wow. It's coming up a little light though. I think the light formula is kind of overpowering the darker one. I don't even know how that, that's possible. It's like it has, the light has even more pigment than the darker color, but oh my gosh, I'm like looking so pale right now. <laughs> if this was like fall and winter, I would be set, but I definitely need more of this darker color. So I'm gonna work a little bit of the darker color in now. Let's see if it like tones the color a little bit, cause wow. Let me get a mirror here. Okay, I'm gonna buff this out with my beauty blender just to get rid of any kind of streaks. But wow. Hmm. Okay, so looking at it, it went on super pigmented it's definitely a type of foundation that you have to blend out, I think, though. You can't just go in with a brush um, because it doesn't quite push all the way into the pores. Kind of just sits at the surface. Let's give it a few minutes, though, because sometimes foundations can do that and then they kind of melt into the skin as time goes on. I do feel like it's starting to blend in now, though, and I don't feel like it's such a white cast. I think I definitely need more of the medium though. Right now the medium um, 100 
because, and like I said, in the jar and initially when it popped out, it just looks so kind of peachy yellow. But then once you mix in the light, the light almost like took it over. So yeah, that's just strange. I guess you really just have to work with them. And good thing they're affordable because you can kind of um, order more than one and not be spending, you know, over a hundred dollars if you want to buy like two or three at a time. Um, okay, well let's hop into the concealer and see how it goes. I mean, this is super bright. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna mix a little Kylie. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna mix some Kylie concealer into it because this is really, really light. And I like my foundation and my concealer to be a few steps apart as far as the color, but not so light that I look like I have raccoon eyes. I wanted this to be a one product tutorial as far as the skin like just stick with the color pop for foundation and concealer but unfortunately that color is really bright but I think it's going to be a nice color in the fall and winter. So I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe brush. Just kind of buff it in. And with this concealer, you really don't even need as much as I put on. I'm like literally, I look like a Broadway character right now with all of this stuff on. But I have to learn to be a little bit more light-handed with it. Even with the concealers, I always loved the ColourPop concealer. Um, I actually liked it better, I think, than Shape Tape, just because I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating than Shape Tape. But yeah. The only thing I, I found with the ColourPop concealer is that initially I felt like it just didn't last quite as long as some of my others. But let's see. Let's see how it performs with its mama, its foundation mama. And I'm just gonna take a pop more of that medium, like literally a tiniest little drop, and just mix it into my Roll Technique sponge. So that this way when I go in and I merge the colors together with this sponge, it'll tone down anything that's just too, too bright. But wow, this coverage is unreal. So now that it's like settling, guys, I'm totally digging the coverage especially when, like I said, you consider the price point. I'm hoping it'll have a good wear to it because that would be great for myself as an artist in my kit since it's so affordable and not everybody wants, you know, the cream-based. I use a lot of RCMA colors and Ben Nye. Okay, so now that we have everything on and set, I wanna go ahead and set my makeup. And for that, I'm gonna use my trusty Derma Blend because um, I wanna set it like I would normally. I did not purchase the setting powders and all of that just because I wasn't quite ready to take that step. I wanted to see kind of where the foundation and the concealer went together. But if I find that I like them, I may just try the um, setting and press powder too, just for the Again, the affordability of it all. Okay, so I'm just making sure before I set and bake that I have no creasing and cracking, very important. But we'll see with the, um, with the bake on what it does. I go in hard with my derma blend guys can't help but love this stuff I love to use it to set my entire face and because I'm testing this I probably shouldn't put so much powder on just to see how it wears without all this powder but truthfully guys I know myself and I know that I'm gonna set with a lot of powder if I like it 
so um, I feel like it's more relevant for me to do it with the powder than without because all of my foundations are set this way. All right, so let's let that do its thing. And in sticking with the face, I'm gonna do just the face today, and then I'll go ahead and finish my eyes off camera. But I'm gonna warm my cheeks with my Physician's Formula Bronzer. And if you look to my previous video, you'll see me kind of talk more in depth about how I like to do this. If I'm doing my job, it's your Okay guys, so really quickly, on days that I just kind of want to keep it softer and natural and be more about complexion, I'll sometimes take a fluffy brush and just go right into my bronzer, tap it in there, keep it really soft and light, and just go into my kind of crease like I would normally if I was going to put eyeshadows on, but instead just use my bronzer and just kind of like fluff it into the crease just to give it some definition kind of wing it out a little bit to kind of draw the attention up and then dust whatever's kind of left onto my eyelids and it just gives a nice warm complexion so it doesn't look like your eyes are just so bare and light compared to the rest of your complexion. So really quickly, I don't want a lot of contour today. So one thing I like to do on days again where I'm a little bit softer is just take some of the lighter shades in my bronzer palette, but still keeping with some of those gray contour shades and kind of buff it out on your hand, on a tissue. And you're just gonna focus kind of when you suck in your cheeks, right in this kind of little pocket here, just a little bit of contour and depth. You don't have to take it all the way and really sculpt the whole cheekbone. We're just gonna kind of work in that little pocket right there. Just to give it a little bit of definition, but kind of let the bronzer do the majority of the work. And the same thing underneath the jawline now, just behind the ear, right in that little kind of crevice here. We're just working right there. You can pull a little bit down into your neck too, just to merge with your bronzer. Okay, now for blush today, I wanna go into my Bye Bye Pores, just to keep things pretty seamless and light. And I find that the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores blush is really great for that because it does have that blurring powder effect. And it's very pigmented and it does last a long time. So definitely be a little more sparing. I'm gonna pop that into the apples and a little bit up into the cheekbone. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and dust off that bake. So get any old kind of flimsy, fluffy brush and you're gonna work this around your eye and anywhere that you placed the original bake. Most of it should be melted in and mine's actually like really, really melted in, which I love. And then once it's kind of dusted is when I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and just kind of tap a little bit of that out and just work this in so that it kind of tones down some of the brightness. We want it bright, but especially if you're like me and some days you just wanna be a little bit more natural and toned down, natural, <laughs> you can use a finishing powder just to kind of tone the white down. Just going to kind of dust through my brows with my comb here and just make sure that there's no powder in them I'm gonna use my Control Freak gel. And we're just gonna kind of feather them and then make them a little bit straighter on the ends just to give them some shape. And then I'm also going to take a Tweezerman Rose Gold Curler and just curl my lashes. And 
and I don't actually want to put mascara on, but I like to curl them anyway, just so that they don't look super straight or almost like they're disappearing because sometimes when you don't have mascara on, it's hard to see the lashes themselves. So bad. Okay, so really quickly before we jump into putting something on our lips, I actually want to highlight the inside corners of my eyes and the rest of my face and in sticking with softer and more neutral colors and also to kind of um, highlight a little bit of the colors that I have in my shirt. And I like to call my grandmother's couch shirt. I love butterflies though, so I had to have it. Um, we're gonna take our master um, chrome highlighter in rose gold, and I'm gonna take just a kind of shading brush from Laura Mercier, and it is slightly dampened with Fix Plus, and we're just going to take this now right on the inside corner here. Just a very tad bit on the lash line here, or excuse me, on the eyelid, right in that front corner. Same thing on the other side. Just a very little bit of color. You don't want a whole lot. Cause I don't want my whole lid. I just want the inside corners to really pop and sparkle. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on the tip of my nose, right at the bridge. Cupid's bow. And then right underneath my bottom lip. So it's gonna give your skin this gorgeous kind of glow. And I feel like that just really gives you that kind of natural, hydrated, awakened finish. Of course, you know, once you have all of that on, you need to set, reset. So we're gonna take our Fix Plus and spritz that on. For lips today, it's gonna to be something just as subtle as gloss. So I'm gonna start with my Laura Mercier. This is Wonderlust um, Lacquer Up Acrylic Lip Varnish. <laughs> it's such a long title. Hate the title, love the formulation, love the color. And it's in that kind of rose gold family. Really pretty. And it has quite a bit of pigment to it. And then to add additional pop, I'm gonna take my um, ColourPop Charming, and this is like more peach gold. But the mixture of both colors just gives a beautiful glow and subtlety to the lips so yes and then in three two one we will complete this video and don't forget to stay tuned for the final opinions final review final vote of whether or not i think that the ColourPop no filter concealer and foundation is worth it Okay guys, so I am checking in. It is officially three hours with the makeup on. And so far I am still loving it. You can see I do have a little bit of texture, but that's pretty normal with me now with foundations. Um, just because, I don't know, it's just kind of the direction I guess my skin is going in. But um, yeah, my hair is a mess, so I gotta get it done. Don't pay attention to that. But my glow is on point and I still feel like I have um, a very full amount of coverage. I know the lighting's not so great here because I'm on my way out. But I will check back in again later. I'm gonna go run errands and do some things and I will let you guys know how I feel and whether or not the foundation is truly worth it. Okay guys, so now I have to check in because it has been like roughly four to five hours and it was like torrential you can still see like the rain on my eyes it was torrential downpouring and somehow this makeup did not completely slide off my face um i don't know if it's going to start breaking apart at this point but so far so good 
Okay guys, so don't mind my glasses because my lighting is like totally shining in them right now. And I probably look like a hot mess, but it has been nine hours that I've had my makeup on and particularly the foundation and concealer. So this is my last check-in. And I have to say that overall, I got a really good probably seven to seven and a half hours wear with this foundation. Um, before I noticed it really starting to heavily break apart. Unlike, say, my Cover FX, my Lancome, um, Huda Beauty foundations, which generally I can get 8 to 10 hours with, I got a decent 7 hours. So considering the price point, I will take it because I think that that's a wonderful price point for people and super affordable and you get the job done. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's not my most favorite foundation, but it's definitely not the worst foundation I've ever tried. And I definitely think it is worth it. Um, just know your skin tone, know your colors, really do your research before you purchase because the colors are definitely a little different than they express on the website. And I do believe that they oxidize because if you can see in the beginning of the video, it was so light, my foundation, and then it really started to change and melt into my skin tone. So just be aware of that. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And give me a comment down below, reach out. I love hearing from you. And until next time, I'll see you guys really soon. Oh,